this is the preamble and I say the preamble really answers the reporter's question you know who does what why when all of those things the preamble answers the question why we even have a constitution I actually want to start the interview by saying because I just went through a long encounter with the police and the legal system but I wanted to say you know you see us pushing these things and this is my profession I am a street vendor and like an attorney who an attorney has a right to practice his profession Yes, I'll get to that. The attorney has his right to practice his profession, so do I. And my profession is street vending. The name of my company is called Skid Row Pennies. My name is Marveline Blades. And this is my son who is helping me until he goes back to school on the night. <laughs> He'll help me temporarily, otherwise I'll be down here by myself. And your name again is? Marveline Blades. And name of the company is called Skid Row Pennies. And my reason for choosing a name like that is because, well, I was down here. I was down here for 50 days in March. And the handout that is given to me, I see it's not given with any respect and dignity. I want to make and do for myself. So my reason why I came up with the name Skid Row Penny is because I see down here people or society thinks of the residents down here as, you know, they're worthless. Just like how people throw away pennies, this is how the Skid Row residents, I feel like they're thrown away. But I feel like, you know, I've been down here, I've been picking up all these pennies. Because you put them together, they're going to add up to a dollar, and then a hundred, and then a million. So that is my point. The same thing with this, is this could bring me a million. Residents of Skid Row coming together could do great things. I just um, went through a major encounter with the police. In spite of me having this street vending license, street the police thought license. that I produced this on my computer. And, um, you know, this one particular officer was not educated about this, so I went, he wrote me a ticket, had me in handcuffs for 45 minutes because I was trying to inform him that, yes, you know, and he's like, who are you? You know, that kind of a mentality. Like, who are you? I'm police officer in uniform, and you, little old you, what do you know? <laughs> what was his challenge? That you, basically, sh you shouldn't that, be making your own money? No, basically, um, street vending is prohibited on Skid Row. That's what I was told. And another thing that he was not even aware that such a thing exists. He was telling me I produce this. Yeah, the name of this, this my business is called Skid Row Penny. And I got this from City Hall, 200 North Main Street. You go to, to, to City Hall, you apply, they have an application you fill out, you make sure you put on there street vending, whatever. And it's understood. It is what the police are not aware. They're thinking because I, apparently they issue these kind of licenses well, to for businesses the city, that, that has for, a location. Is that for the city of Los Angeles? This is for the city of Los yes. Angeles. What about the county? City, county. Okay, this is how it's explained to me. Like, let's say, like, see what I have done? I had to go and get clearance from the watch commander in this area. Because on Skid Row, you know, everything is done to me unequally. Well, why did you say I got to get a clearance? You shouldn't have to, is my point. You shouldn't have to, but that's what I was forced to go and get a clearance in addition to having this. Because they had me in handcuffs for 45 minutes. Not today? To court. Not today, on June 24th, I was in handcuffs. I still have two little marks left on me. The day it occurred, I had full handcuffs mark. At my age of 44, I never encountered police out there, my chest all exposed. Big to do there in front of my wine guard. And all because one particular officer is not aware that such a thing exists. So I had to, after enduring all that I endure, went to court, the city attorney saw this, I immediately acknowledged that it's okay and why am I here, told me go and complain to the police, I went. I complained, they did not call me back, I went and made a complaint, and this time they told me to ask for the watch commander, who I, I asked for the watch commander. So he gave me his official okay, because it's up to a police officer whether or not they want to enforce the law. See, I've done some research about this particular street vending. There's two codes. There's a 4200 and there's an 8037 section in the LA Municipal Code. And one of them allows for you to, one of them strict, uh, says it, prohib it prohibits street vending in certain areas of Los Angeles. That's very vague, certain areas. And then 8037 says you allow from a push cart at the request of a vendor to be stopped, make your purchase, and move on. That's the I'm one that I have this license. 200 North, 200 North 200 Main. 200 North Main. Tell me what you sell though. Okay, well yeah, that is my, my objective is to bring quality items to the residents of Skid Row at a very reasonable price to be left alone by the police that I could do my, this is my profession. And as a lawyer has the right to practice his profession, so should I. And that's what my constitution gives me that right. And that's what I'm fighting for, basically. I think more and more people in Skid Row should become entrepreneurs. I agree What's with that. What's this here that you have? This is a camera. 
Oh, these, really? Yeah, these are the disposable camera. And I sell a lot of these. How I much do they sell these for? These are five dollars. I'm this is twenty-seven. And you sell a lot of them? I sell a lot of these. Actually, this is all that's left from two dozen that I had, which I just purchased. You know. Uh, like the 25th of last month. Disposable cameras, yeah. how cool. You know, I I have, have, we have um, a camera club here. Let me here. show you what else I have. I have basically, let's see, I take the watches off. I have all kind of nice soaps. I have my Caress, the Dove, Shea Butter Soap. Nice quality thing. They're all a dollar each. I have shower slippers, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, toothbrush. I have an entire dental cleaning kit. You mean you get your tongue cleaner, which is really the essential. You get your permanent floss. And this is all two dollars. <laughs> so it's very everything is conveniently priced, and there's things that are necessity. You know, my dip deodorant, the shave, the razors, batteries, of course. You know, you need for all our Oh, you gadgetry. speak! I didn't know he spoke. Yes, this is Matthew. <laughs> this is hey, his Matthew. Son Matthew. He's 15, and I am sort of encouraging him to kind of get out there and do. Well, you himself. know, there's a there's a philosophy that when young people are around entrepreneurs, they end up being good entrepreneurs themselves. And I themselves. told him he is in a field of 3,000 students. He can sell a few candies at school, perhaps. Hey. You know? Get a little get permission from somebody and sell a few candy. You know, somebody is selling it to them. Why can't you? Yes, sir. So, yeah, so that's that's basically, I feel good today. It's my second day back after all that long delay because I was trying to get all this legal issue cleared out because I didn't want to feel, you know, looking over my shoulder with police coming. I don't want to yeah. work under those conditions. So they let everybody know that it's okay. Well, Who is the watch what commander? I told, what's the name of the watch commander? Madrona. Oh, okay. Madrona, I'm not perhaps I'm wrong about that, but I think his name is Madrona. But what he basically told me, look, when my officers see you down here, they could only protect and serve you. Good. Thank you very much. That's what I would like to have done. Just be protected and serve and nothing else. Our constitution guarantees us the right to a common profession of our choice. I always this is my thing and that's the one thing I never leave home without my constitution. And it says we the people of the United States of America why? In order to form a more perfect union, establish the Mets tranquility, and all those nice things that they guarantee us, six of them, right? Yeah. That's the reason why we gave our permission and signed for them to make laws to govern us. It says, look, we the people of the United States of America, tells you why. In order to form a more perfect union, establish domestic tranquility, what else is it say? Anybody else know? Liberty and bring posterity to ourselves and our offspring of people to come, our future generation. Life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, all those wonderful things. That's our reason why we gave permission for, to sign a blank document. That's what we really did at the beginning of time when we Africans, American, a lot of us were not included in it. But we are now because it made us citizens, so we're included. So when these things happen, I utilize my constitution. Hallelujah. I, you, this is why we have to know it because every single day people are violating your constitution. Just that police officer put that handcuffs on me because I am telling him, I am using my, you got gun, this is my gun. The First Amendment gives me a right to use it. And you're going to lock me up because I'm informing you and telling you certain things that it's in my right. And that's all they arrested. They didn't arrest me. They said they detained me, which is unreasonable search and seizure because they didn't have no probable cause. I didn't violate any laws. But if we are not aware that these rights are being taken away from us, then we don't know to even go and ask back for it. I'm done for the day. Okay, and last question, your, yes. your three top sellers. My three top sellers, toothbrush, body wash. Gosh, I have like, all of these things are top sellers, that's why I have them. Deodorant, body wash, soaps, um, lighters, and of course these little goodies. I would like in, in time to bring some more healthy alternatives. All right, young man, you going back to school? Yeah. When? Um, next week, Wednesday. Congratulations, I can see you're going to do very well. What school are you attending? I go to Palace Union. Yes, sir. Okay, and your name again? Huh? And oh, Matthew. Matthew, thank you, Matthew. And you are proud of your mother, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. You're quite a woman. We really appreciate you. Thanks okay. for taking this time. I'm going to send a copy to, uh, to Captain Chow okay, also. Wonderful. Because you did, you did get justice, so I like that. All right, thank you very much. Blaze out.